All right, it's chicken butchering day today. Still have lots to do this morning before we get started. We need to clean out the coolers, the tables, and I still need to get ice. Get that going. Water, we need to start this water. This usually takes about 45 minutes to get hot, so this we gotta get this going first thing. Good job, Penelope. You're gonna wash the tables for me? Yeah. All right. Ideally, it would be nice to um, have a permanent setup for everything here. I mean, you know, we do this at least twice a year, uh, even if we did it once a year. Having a permanent setup for everything uh, would just help out a ton. It'll prevent me from having to set up and also take down. Um, so one of these days, my goal is to have a permanent structure for this setup. That has to get to 150. It's always kind of hectic in the morning. Just kind of get everything situated because nobody likes chicken butchering day. So to be as comfortable as possible with the shade fan uh, and get and have the right equipment to do it all like this plucker is a key to a successful day well you're making breakfast well I'm making breakfast and I'm making lunch for later today <laughs> <laughs> on chicken processing day uh, I'm usually setting up in the morning Penelope's helping out and the rain is cooking food for everyone that's coming all right now we need to fill these up with ice and water So from there, we'll grab the chickens and put them here, okay. upside down, yep. so their um, their backs up is up against this. And then from here, um, the scalder, the scalder yeah. which is just a turkey fryer, really, it needs to be at 150. Okay. And then I drop a little bit of soap in here, and that's to loosen up the feathers. And then when you run this thing, make sure the the water is always on. Yeah. Then they go on the table, and this is where we do all the eviscerating. Okay, necks, feet, <laughs> heart, liver. Okay. That's what we say. Okay. <laughs> Those go in Ziploc bags. Is there a certain part I should test it from? Yeah, the thigh. The thigh. Like, which is like where? here. Okay. Still kind of tight, here. right? Yeah, still a little bit. Make sure you dunk the feet too. Okay. Yeah. So you have the fire on this thing constantly on this water? No, it's off right now. Oh, okay. It's just we just need to see it. It's getting low, so I probably need to like turn it on a little bit. I don't have a frame of reference. This is my first time, right. but it feels pretty. So how do you think these birds are? The size is great. I'm very pleased with the size. Well, these are four four weeks older than our Cornish crosses, but even these are bigger than our last year birds. They are bigger. Right. These are our biggest birds. How are you liking this plucker? Man, it's great. <laughs> yeah, that thing's impressive. It's a game changer, right? It sure is, man. It makes it a whole lot easier than doing you know, feather by feather. That'd be, man. That I've done be... feather by feather. Have you really? We did three birds in, I think it took us like four hours. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not the best definition of efficiency. No. <laughs> this is a bag where we save all of their, all of the feet. And after we're done processing all of the chickens, we, we will wash everything really well and then put them in a food saver bag and shrink wrap them and put them away in our freezer to make bone broth. This is a bag for the hearts and the liver. So the liver is attached to the heart. And then there was a bile sac attached to this, so you cut that up because it could ruin your meat. What about these? You can kill. These are gizzards. And this is basically the stomach of the chicken. It is a muscle, so you can actually see the muscle. And when you process this, you cut it in half. And what's amazing about this chicken muscle or stomach is that it has all of these little 
pebbles, grass. There's a lot of rocks in here Thank you, sir. because it compresses. The stomach basically pushes all the food through. And then you take it out, you dump it out. And then there's like this really tough skin, which is pretty yellow it's from the bile probably or stomach acids. And you peel this. But this meat right here is like steak. And these are the necks. We're going to save them also for bone broth. And we're getting close to the end here. Three, four, five, six. We have three Freedom Rangers and three Cornish Crosses left. Justin gave us a couple of his roosters. Uh, we don't have a rooster, so I'm thinking about maybe keeping one. That's a Freedom Ranger, and then this is a Cornish Cross. Wow, that's huge. That got really big. Start harvesting. Ooh, that's a bile sack that yeah. popped. Mm -hmm. So there's no pressure on it. You don't want that to happen, but if it does, you just rinse it off. Some vinegar, you're good. The Cornish Cross is a breastier bird, and the Freedom Ranger is supposed to be more of a thigh bird, right? Yeah. I noticed the Freedoms are a little bit more yellower, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that? I don't know. I think they're fatty. Fattier, but like it's a good fat because I noticed that this one hasn't been cut open, but like they have a lot more of this fat that you can cook with it. And it's really good for cooking. It's very nutritious. So this is your first time, Joe. Yes, yeah, sir, <laughs> it is. <laughs> what do you think of your first time? Man, actually I've enjoyed this. It's not it's not been as as what's the word? As nightmarish, if you will. Right. Um, as I yeah. thought and as I've yeah this has actually been enjoyable to me yeah it's not that bad right like I mean no sir I think you initially had this vision in your head right like for me too you yes had this vision of like chaos almost <laughs> that's right <laughs> but it's actually a calm process I think right I mean, no this is I think this is humane as it gets this is a, a good experience for you <laughs> yes sir yes I'm gonna do it again Awesome. And I appreciate you letting me do it today, man. Yeah, I appreciate you helping us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have 33 chickens. We're, we are done with 33 chickens. That took about two and a half hours. And now we have to bag the chickens. So we just cleaned up and we had lunch. And now we're boiling some water. This is for bagging. We're gonna heat, we're gonna shrink wrap uh, the whole chickens. Bagging the whole chickens, it usually takes about an hour. All right, we're keeping another rooster and these are Delaware roosters uh, from Justin's place. We, we're gonna keep one because we don't have a rooster. Do you have any pin feathers with the corner cross? Look at this like one the though. feathers came out nice and smooth. This one had it. They should. Corner cross feathers should come out a lot easier. They should? should. Yeah, they did. Yeah. We didn't have any pin. We didn't have to go through with it. This is where we take off all of the little pin feathers and the oil glands and things that we might have missed. So in our last chicken butchering video, we showed you one way to bag the chickens by poking a hole on it. And then today we're going to show you another different way to bag these chickens. I am cutting up this chicken and then I'm going to take it inside and use our food saver machine and shrink wrap the pieces so we can go into our freezer. And if you haven't seen it already, we've done a video before on how to cut up a whole chicken. So the straw method, you take a straw, you stick it in about halfway into the chicken, and then you give it a twist, and you put a zip tie on it, you dunk it, then you take the straw out, tie it tighter, and that's it. Do the straw in place of poking a hole in it, and then it shrink wraps the whole chicken. All right, so I think the key to a good butchering day is to get a good group going, right? Yes. And so we have, we've always had this family, Mike. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so we've had family help us and we just get together and butcher day. We help them butcher their chickens. They help us butcher our chickens. Uh, we even go in halves. They buy 30 chickens. We buy 30 chickens and we'll split the cost of feed. 
and that's the key. So after three years, I think we're old pros now. You think? Oh yeah, we got this. <laughs> Sophia, she's the key. <laughs> <laughs> old pros. <laughs>